Okay, now uh, the second part that I'm going to make is a plate of 30 by 20 by 2 millimeter. The 2 is the thickness, and the plate has a central hole having diameter of 3 uh, millimeter. So I go back to SolidWorks, make a new part. Again, start from extrude, front, and I make a rectangle and it's dimension R30 say for length and 24 width uh, elevated it and the thickness is 2 millimeter because it's uh, 30 by 20 by 2 so what I do I just make it 2 millimeter and done so I save my first part so let's save this one as part uh, okay part 2 or just make it plate and the file is part file type is part I go to my second one uh, sorry the pin and I save it as pin the same format save now the next step is I want to make uh, assembly so I start from the beginning instead of part I go to assembly press OK now I have to actually bring these two files because I've recently worked on these two files they're both here the first part gonna be the fixed part so I click on the fixed part click here and without any click I just go to the right side take the pointer to the right side and now another click so this one will be fixed oh by the way I forgot to add the hole so I go back to the part and uh, create the hole and then come back here now this is also good practice uh, in which if uh, you want to modify your part so I extrude cut make a circle starting from midpoint to here and as soon as it reaches to the midpoint here okay you see so this is the center and I make the radius equal to 1.5 or diameter of 3 through it called make it through all and done so now what I do if I save it it automatically updates whatever I have in my assembly can see it ask uh, there has been change do you want it I say yes so we see this change my part is fixed the word F is showing the first part is fixed now I want to insert the second one so I go to here insert component click and pin and bring it leave it anywhere the second part gonna be unfixed so this can move in this hyphen here the dash here shows it's not fixed now I want to make sure that this pin goes into this and I want to fix it so I click on mate and the first constraint is I tell the software that I want this surface and this surface to be along the same path or concentric so I choose concentric I have other options but this is concentric make sure that this one is along this central hole so now I cannot move it right to the left but I can move it back and forth along that axis and I can rotate it so now I want to fix it uh, fix these two motion the first motion can be fixed by setting this surface and the surface behind this cap to be concentric how I click on this one so the name of the face is appearing in the entities to mate the second one is here look at the left side the second face is also added it automatically choose a uh, coincident so we are fine with that so if I set it now this pin cannot go right and left the only thing is uh, left is the rotation of this pin so in order to fix that one I say okay now I want this edge and this edge to be parallel or to be perpendicular and when I fix it I'm done now we have an assembly that all parts are fixed I want to save it so I say OK save it as assembly number say 
number two here and 